Okay, as promised. One inch spacer. How much would you pay for this? It's plastic. You know, that's what you want. You don't want it to conduct heat. And the um, local auto parts. They want like $50 for these things. Like a name brand, too, I think. Edelbrock probably makes one. Come on, really? And it didn't even come with the gaskets, I don't think. Or the studs. Ridiculous, so. Our good old friend eBay. This was $20 and change. You know, come on, man. Someone's making a killing making these things. Now, kit. Bolts are loose. And some ambient chill vibe music from YouTube on the background. It's from YouTube, so can they flag me for that? I don't know. They'll probably try that. They even still do that. I feel like they used to do that. You couldn't play any music. But then I watch people's videos on this music, so I, I don't know. I don't know the rules. So let's see what happens here. <clears throat> the washer's there too, huh? Love taps. It's really on there. Am I gonna get a pry bar? Alright, yeah, decided I'm gonna take it right off because the gasket's making a mess under there. Still haven't got my cable off there. Let's get that off and clean it up before I go and drop anything down here. Do this. Why well, I live on the edge. All it takes is one, one socket, one piece of debris. And if you really care about your engine, you don't want to do that. This was that thicker. Remember that nice thick blue gasket? I guess it's still in decent shape. I mean, considering it ripped, but. That to do, and then I'm gonna take these studs out, because I got three, well, I'm sorry, four new ones, obviously, four. They're longer. And we'll get the bottom of the car cleaned up, too. Get yourself up these pee pads for the dog. 99 cent store, or, you know, wherever. Whatever your dollar store is. And the bowls are probably still full, so probably gonna try and keep this I'm making a mess. Yeah, I see I'm already leaking out there. Hmm. I kinda wanna flip this over. Maybe I'll go dump that into something. That was pretty funny. I didn't even have the absorbent side up. I had it facing down. <laughs> oh, the f joy of filming. Really, just don't pay attention. I'm gonna get rid of this double sided razor that's digging into my finger. Where are your safety goggles with razor blades? I knew a guy lost an eye. Wow. Alright, I won't lie. It was a friend of a friend. Scraping something and it chip went right into his eye. I don't know if he lost it, but did permanent damage. Ouch. Scotch brake brake clean. Or car clean, I guess you could do. Here's my thought process. You got round bore gasket. So I think the 
bore should stay up top, and this should go down the bottom. All right? I think that would make sense, All right? And make sure it all fits on the carburetor. Yeah, everything looks good here. This is a. Uh, all the holes are lining up good. Well, gooder. So I think that's what we'll do. Let's get those studs in there. So there's a deadline for everything. I just had to push this out of the way. This guy had to get out of his garage. Yeah, gotta get this done. Now these new studs don't have a. Uh, an Allen head on top, so I just had to double nut to get them started. Oh, they're not half inch. Why do I have that? Oh, it's a 716. That's why. I think they're probably 13. This is a little loose. Alright. So they are a 13 millimeter. That's why the wrench wouldn't fit. And this is what I was talking about with the heat soak. This is typically an EGR, so there's a crossover in the intake, so it's hot exhaust. So that makes uh, the carburetor get hot. And they, did it, they did it for warm-up purposes, you know, to warm up the engine when it's cold, but in a hot climate like California, it doesn't really, it just creates a hot starting problems. So a lot of the, um, you can get gaskets with block off plates when you do the intake. And they did that on certain years, I think, too. Okay, so what did I say? Did I say this guy? Let's get that rag out of there. So we have an issue. It's pretty good, I guess I could trim it. And this guy. Smooth, no ab obstructions. Everything's gonna line up good. Gooder. And then let's get our other gasket and cab or man, that one fits. I wouldn't say it's a. I'm sure that's professionally cleaned out. Give you much to grab. Look at that. Uh, I screwed that stud in all the way. Same with the one on the back. Let's see. Yeah, not even long enough. That's a good kit right there. Real good kit. Okay, studs are out. Which, by the way, are a 12 millimeter metric. Just do this like it's a bolt. That's just sitting there, and that's just starting to catch a thread. So this will be okay in the front. It's not the right way to do this. But in the back, I have a bracket. It has to go on here, too. I don't like it, but I'll just put it together. I can always get some bolts at the hardware store, or longer studs. All right, so these are probably calling them two inch studs, but they're not. Two and a quarter. I'd like to have something that's like two and a half. I don't care that a fine thread, I just need this thread going into the uh, intake. And the old ones were inch and three quarter. Call that? I don't know. Anyway, all right. Things ever easy. Nothing's ever easy for me. Guess whose threads are screwed up now? Let's get the tap and die set. All right, both tapped. These got all screwed up too because what happened is the bottom of this hole must not have been cleaned out all the way. So when I went down all the way with this, it really got effed up. 
but I don't think I'm even going to be able to go that far anymore. I, these are not long enough. They're going to be like... They're going to have to be like this right here. I think that's it. Where's that measure? Measure -er. two inches. All right, let's see what we got when we go back together. Nothing down our intake. Good. there. I guess I'll just do the back bolts first. I'd like to get some longer studs, but let's get to get together. We gotta get out of this alley. To stop fighting with this bracket and break down and buy the right one. See, it fits this bolt. What was I doing over here? I can't remember. Did I have a washer? It clearly doesn't fit. remember having it in did I use this inner did I have the inner hole there and have it like that wasn't that my issue that one was stripped out all right everything's a mess for me flag 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 on the play 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 after reviewing the tape 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 I realized I used, used, used the inner holes, holes, holes. Why was I using the outer holes? I don't know. So that stud is screwed up. That's why I remember I had the built. So I think I'm still going to need a longer bolt. But let's... I'm going to reassemble this for the 15th Okay, time. here's the issue. The adapter doesn't have the inner holes. Only the gaskets have the inner holes. So I uh, could bore out the adapter. Hmm. I'm not going to do that. Hold this and look through the lens. I'm just going to get rid of this. That's all there is to it. I'm going to get a. I'm going to go get the $60 piece of metal they sell at AutoZone to do the same thing. God, I could just weld this. I could weld a piece of flat bar. God, I just got to get this thing out of the alleyway though. Why is? Don't ever buy a car that doesn't fit in a garage, or if you don't have a driveway, people. Just don't do it. Oh, I got lucky. Look at that. I found one 5 16th bolt in my collection. It's quite long. So I'm going to pinch that. Like that, just to get this thing out of here. Jesus. All right, kids, what did Uncle Mike teach us here today? First of all, we're going to get longer studs, preferably studs. Let's see, I may have to get bolts. So I need two inches sticking up. So I'm going to give myself another, let's say that went in a half inch. So like two and a half, th two and three quarter bolts or studs what's needed not 12 these are my old 13s the new hardware had 13 millimeters these are half inch <laughs> I get what you pay for I guess but so I'm gonna, I can't even get the bracket on so I'm just gonna have to idle this over to the uh, parking spot which shouldn't be a problem and go to the store and maybe I'll buy a bracket maybe I'll make one <laughs> I'm a glutton for punishment and we're back. So O'Reilly got two and a half. AutoZone did not. O'Reilly did have a $60 throttle bracket. <laughs> like I said, it wasn't lying. And they also had this $15 shaky chrome one. I don't think I'm going to need it. I think if I put the studs in the right holes, I'll just go back to that bracket. And if not, I will make something with that bracket. $60.
Mm, I guess that's gonna be enough. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's that much that much more I can grab. Oh. Oh, those studs are in. I did forget that that's the plastic's not drilled, that's why I was using the outers. Um, so I'm putting a stud here. I'm starting to use this Mickey Mouse bracket. And try and set that up. All right, I wouldn't give it to my grandmother to drive, but she's Mickey Mouse today down there. That's about what's holding it right there. Uh, that doesn't look that great, but for now, I'm gonna take that bracket. I think I'll make something, piece of metal. Goes up to there, and then there's a back bolt there, maybe. 